Hi, this is Steven. I'm going to talk about uh, Terra. Uh, in order to use Terra, you must uh, enable experimental future in uh, Archipack uh, until now. Uh, my input have, have some uh, altitude curve. Those are a true curve. Um, for Terra itself, we can also use uh, point clouds or a regular mesh and uh, also get uh, some uh, road axis which are true, true 3D uh, uh, Bezier curve and some buildings boundary which, has, which are also our uh, curve so in order to start I'm selecting uh, a boundary, uh, uh, an altitude curve, and I, I, I press Terra. I can add more than one point cloud to generate my uh, my Terra, and uh, as many as I want, I can mi mix uh, a curve and uh, and uh, and mesh. Filter input, this is the distance between, minimum distance allowed between uh, different points. So I keep it uh, high while working and uh, in the end I can uh, lower and clean up. This is the maximum length of, uh, of allowed forage. It allows to, to clean the border, the degenerate, degenerated triangle. Uh, in the, in, the, in the edge. Now I'm gonna into a modifier. A modifier allows to to build, uh, to add uh, roads and, and so on. So I will add a road for sample and go into the road axis from curve and I take this one. This will build a road right over my terrain. As you can see, the, 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 ro uh, the curve is not uh, adaptive here. It is uh, uh, based on the, the Blender uh, interpolation, but Archipack to provide uh, an adaptive which set more more uh, uh, segments on on curved parts, so we get a uh, far smoother result with uh, nearly the same uh, segments. Count. Here I can uh, edit my my curve at any time, so I move it a bit, and as soon as I go out from edit mode, it will edit. The, the, the terrain according update. I can also set up the border width and a transition space. So I set my transition around uh, half meter and the border at six meter. So you can see the border being much larger. I also have the, the width of the of my road. No, I can select my terrain. If I want to edit my road, I can uh, go here or simply disable it temporary or remove. No, we gonna for uh, earthwork. Again, shape from curve, and I, s I take the first one here. Once created and once selected, I can move it using grab and Z, G, Z, to set up the altitude. It's real time. I've um, the ability to set up an offset, 
to get more space if it's if it's the the true boundary of the the building maybe i need the uh, say two meter around and then lower the slope here in order to get something uh, much smoother I can also set up a, a transition about uh, for, for the, 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 the border part so we want uh, we want to use something linear uh, cutter cutter are like uh, like other but as you might guess in the cut you can cut the inside or keep the inside depend on the on this mod and also set up an offset uh, around so I select back my terrain and there is also a material which is uh, between cutter and uh, and earth work but only change the, the material inside boundary as always of certain transition um, Terrain is able to provide a soft transition between materials using a vertex color uh, mask. So when I when I enable it, I get in a vertex point some mask with soft transition between uh, between them. Uh, road are uh, in red channel, everything in the green channel, and uh, material and uh, material uh, change in blue channel. So if I use uh, a soft terrain, you can see it, and uh, the road are. Uh, perfectly unwrapped out of the box so it basically uh, it is ready for uh, for rendering uh, also I can add no, another road using the the small one this one What you can see here is the last one will take precedence over the, the, the first one in the in the stack. If I'm going here, this one this one is made first and this one is made last. So in order for this one to take precedence, I must put my road one under. So no this one have priority over the, the other so at any time this one could be adaptive and in the mine we can adjust the border to get something smooth in the in the edge Also, uh, we got default material for those parts, but any of the modifier has work, is able to override the, the material. So that's the basic for uh, for terrain. It's pretty simple. 
and a really really powerful uh, object and now I'm lower it the distance and get smooth final result. <laughs> 